Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel we are going to be counting down the top 10 sellers for the month of November. November had a good mix of different things in it from fashion to beauty and I was like some of the items really surprised me and so I'm very excited about it this month. If you are new to my channel, every month I do a video in the middle of the month that tells you all about the top items that you guys purchased through my recommendation for the month previous. Now these items can be items that you saw possibly on my Pinterest, could be on my Instagram, my Instagram and Instagram stories, could be here on YouTube or could also be on my Facebook page. There's an array of different ways that people can be finding these items from me, whether it's in videos or just from photos. So I'm gonna jump right in. I start at number 10 and I work my way down to number one. So we are going to jump right into it. The first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is a pair of jeans from a brand called Frame. Now this is the first pair of jeans I have ever owned from them. It is a size 31, I did size up. And the reason I sized up in these is they don't have a lot of stretch to them. Actually, they have no stretch to them. Um, they are more of your mom jean style. They are a high rise straight leg jean that also down at the hem has a distressing. That is the, no, there is a little bit of distressing in through the legs, but it's not like holes distressing. Um, these I am super excited about. They are a very classic, classic jean. They are on the pricey side, guys. They have been going on and off in sale over on Nordstrom and on Frame's website. So I will link both of those down below for you. I did pick them up through Nordstrom and I'm super excited. They are just it's a fun little twist on a normal jean. Now, if you don't want to pay that price for them, because like I mentioned, they are pricey, uh, another good option is Abercrombie & Fitch has a pair that is similar, and I will link that down below for you guys. The next item, these number 10s, guys, I am impressed that you guys are buying these, but these are pricey items that are at the number 10. The next one is the Veronica Beard Blazer. It is the scuba blazer. This is what mine looks like. I have it in black. This is a dicky that I have on it. So what the thing is with these that makes these so different is this is actually, you can zip in and out the different, um, they're called dickies, but different hoods, different insides. I have one that's kind of like a mock neck sweater. There's a jean jacket one. I have two different hoodie style ones. One is like a raincoat one and one is a regular one. This is one of those items that I really struggled to convince myself whether it was worth the price tag on it. I personally put it in my Nordstrom's wish list and it went on sale and that's when I purchased it. This is just an investment piece that you will wear for years and years and years. As I mentioned though, it is a blazer and although the Dickies give it a little bit different of a style, not everyone loves a blazer. I have a girlfriend who has to wear blazers and suit style things for work. So to her, it's not something that she can even think of as a more like fun item, but somebody like me who doesn't have to get dressed up for work, really, I love a blazer and I love the classic look of it. So there's so many different ways you can wear this blazer. It really truly is an amazing investment piece that you will wear for years. Next item is something that I love. Now I will mention this. You might be going, wait, she's talking about three different things. So there was a tie for the amount of these items purchased. So let's say there were 25 of each of these purchased. All of these things had 25 purchased. So there was a tie for these items in the number 10 slot. And then I take it from there and go to the next item that's sold and so on and so forth. So the next item is one that I've had for a really long while. It is the Dior Forever Undercover 24 hour full coverage foundation. I do have this in color 034. As you can see, this one is at the end of its life. This is a foundation for a long while. If you've watched any of my foundation reviews and wear tests, I have had this in my top three for quite some time. It did recently get bumped out. So I have always enjoyed this one so much that when I noticed this was towards the end, I did pick up a backup of this. So I do already have another one ready to go as soon as this one, I can't get any more out of it. I also do love the fact, by the way, that this is a squeeze tube packaging and that it's plastic. I can leave it sitting this way so I get the most product down close and then squeeze it out. That is a really, really nice thing. Dior makes amazing foundations. I really do love them. It has a really good color match for me, which 
the color match is almost just as important, if not more so, than the actual finish I get from a foundation. Number nine is actually an item that I do not own. And you might be saying, why is it an item that you don't own that's actually a top seller? And this item is an item that I showed on a gift guide during the month of November. I had done a couple of different gift guides and shown you guys some ideas and some things that you may want to pick up for yourself or for someone else. And this is actually a lip set. It is by the brand NARS and it is the Afterglow Lip duo set and so there are two of them in there and the really nice thing about that is if you need a little gift or a stocking stuffer or something simple you can break this apart into two and give it to two different people or give it to one person as a set so it's a really really cute and great idea through the holidays number eight had a tie for two items and funny they are both hair related items the first one is the dyson supersonic hair dryer yet another item that i do not personally own i just have heard amazing things about it i find that people love the dyson and the t3 i have a t3 personally right when the dyson came out i had bought my second t3 i had had one for over 10 years that lasted me amazingly and actually i still have it here at this house kind of for my guest bath it just makes a funny noise but it's good if somebody needs a hair dryer when they come to visit and the Dyson one came out and I wanted to pick it up, but I had just bought a T3. So I said, I'll wait until my T3 dies. Well, I forget that my last T3 lasted me 10 years. So who knows what's gonna be new and out by the time that that one dies, but it is an amazing gift idea. Again, it was on one of my gift guides as something to choose. Then the next item that tied for that is the Quen Colleen Rushall Quench and Shine Restorative Hair Mask. Guys, this thing is so, so, so good. I talk about this all the time over on my Instagram. I post about it when it comes back in stock because this sells out fast. I mean, you can see how much of it I have used. You do not need much of this product. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. And this is just such a great conditioner. I don't use this every single time I wash my hair. You can. Um, I personally don't because my hair is finer and doesn't need quite as much moisture all the time. So I use this probably every other wash. Um, I only wash my hair once or twice a week. So I figure every other wash, it just gives me a nice moisture. It really seals my ends. It makes my ends and my hair look super shiny. It is really nice. It has a very pretty scent. It's kind of masculine, kind of spa-like. It smells really, really, really good. And my hair smells like it for a little bit afterwards too. This is a great item. However, it does sell out fast. Colleen Rothschild always does give me a discount code to provide you guys, but they do have a lot of different sales going on. I believe, I believe right now they have a sale going on that is like for the end of the year, it's like by 2020, so you can get 20% off. So you can use my code or their code. Either one is gonna get you 20% off. The shampoo you can purchase with this is really great too. So I love using them together, but the mask is must have guys. Number seven, number seven had a tie for two items as well, both from Colleen Rothschild. The first one, I've been talking and raving about this for years. This is the Retinol Supreme Eye Serum. This is holy grail for me. I will not go without it. I will say, I think it was at the beginning of quarantine when there was like a delay in all the shipping. I went without this for like three days and I could tell the difference under my eyes. It helps with dark circles. It helps with puffiness. It helps with fine lines. It does not dry out your under eye area, even though it has a retinol in it. It is super emollient. Like your under eyes actually look wet for a little bit when you first put it on. This is so, so, so good. The next item from them that was a top seller, and I'm so glad you guys are getting this. It is the, you're like, what? That's empty. I already have my backup. <laughs> this is their newest product. It came out, I want to say, end of October. I might be wrong on that. No. It's longer than that. I want to say this was in before that end of summer, maybe. I don't remember exactly when this came out, but I am obsessed with this, guys. This face oil is so good. If you have any redness to your skin, inflammation, anything, oh my gosh, guys, I put this on and within 20 minutes, all my redness is gone. It is so good. It is their CBD face oil. Now, I will say that it is hard to find on their website because something about this product, it has to ship separately, I think is what it is. So it's a little hard to find on their site. So if you go into the site and you can't find it, please come back here, use the link below. That will take you directly to the product. I think, I forget what I had to type in. 
I tried just typing in CBD and that didn't show up. It might've been CBD face oil or CBD oil, I forget. But I was able to find it. I am so glad I already have my next one. Like this one, I just have to like dump out tonight and get whatever I have left. This is so good, guys. My skin feels so hydrated with this. I love, love, love the results. I love that it gets rid of my redness. I love that it absorbs in. If you love the face number nine oil, this has replaced that for me. The face number nine oil is still amazing, but this, whoo, I love it. I will say it took me a little bit to get used to the scent. It's kind of an earthy scent. And at first I was like, oh no, it smells like celery or earth or something. I now love this scent. Who knew? Number six had a tie, two pairs of jeans. They are the high rise distressed straight leg jean. They do have distressing down at the knees and then they have a raw hem. It's not a super distressed hem, it's just a raw hem. These do have stretch to them. Typically in a lot of Target jeans, I feel like I'm a little bit better if I size up to a 12. I'm typically a size eight or 10. Um, and these ones I got in the 12 and the 12 was just a slight bit too big so then I ordered them in a size 10 but they are super soft very very comfy such a good jean the next pair that tied for this is the Witten Wisdom Absolution itty bitty boot cut I think the jean is called I got these in a size 8 Witten Wisdom I always always size down in their jeans their jeans do stretch out they do have a ton of give to them a ton of it this is a boot cut. So if you are not ready for like a flare leg jean, this is the way to go. It's not too wide. It's not as small as a straight leg or as a skinny jean, obviously, but it is a little bit of a flare to it. It gives you such a beautiful long leg look. It is just stunning. I love this style of jean and a flare style of jean in through the fall and winter months. I just think something about it with a blazer, it just looks so good, guys. Number five, I am so excited that you guys are picking this up. This has been a favorite of mine for so long. I actually own two of them. It is the Surratt, I think it's called the Reveille Lash Curler. Guys, I have owned so many lash curlers that everyone raves about and says it's the best lash curler. And I had heard about this one and I was like, is it really gonna be any different? It's so good. And so I purchased one, I've used it for quite a few years. I wanna say I've used this for a good three years, if not longer. And this last year I purchased a second one and I keep it in my purse and when I just need a little lift, I just use it during the day. It comes in a black color, it is matte black. It has a replacement piece through here. It is not super, it's hard to explain. It's not real curved, which it depends on the shape of your eye. I read an article I found on Pinterest about the eyelash curler that works for you. It will depend on the shape and size of your eye and that's why I've always struggled. This one, my eyes are not super rounded. Mine are more flat. So all of the rounded lash curlers were crimping me in the middle. This one gives me such a nice lifted look. It is a pricier lash curler, but it's not something that's gonna go bad. It's not gonna have to be replaced. It is so worth it. Number four had a tie for three items. All three of them are beauty items, which is pretty impressive. The first one is the Murad Hydration Invisibar Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is what it looks like. This, guys, I use as my primer under makeup. It is so good. I mean, if you can see, I've already used this much and I've got my backup of this too. I, if it is a product I love, I, always have a backup of them because I don't want to go without them. So it is super easy. I mean, you can tell the difference in how much I've used from this one to this one. It is so nice. It's not super thick. It melts into the skin very easily. I typically just tap it all in through my T-zone and then on through my cheeks. It helps to reduce the visibility of your pores. It really smooths out your skin, plus it has that extra SPF in it. The next item is an item that I have on right now as well. It is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Lip Gloss? Lip Luminizer, that's the word they use. And I heard about this from my friend Ashley and I am so excited. It's so nice. It has like a vanilla scent. It is so smooth, so nice, not tacky at all. It is just, it feels so nice. It gives such a nice sheen to your lips. 
it just feels so, so, so good. I will list the color down below. I forget what the name of this color is and I can't read that little sticker down there, but this is such an amazing lip gloss. I'm so glad you guys have gotten it. If you guys got a color other than this one, let me know. I'd love to get some others. The last item that tied here is the Sephora Lash Stash. And this is a set of mascaras that are all sample size, right? Yes, sample size. I always have to think of that because there's a difference between sample size and like the smaller versions. These are sample size ones. Every year I pick this up, I don't have mine with me right now. I left it at the other house by mistake because I do still have some mascaras here to go through and try, but I love it because it gives me an opportunity to really go through and try different mascaras. And I never hardly ever get through a full tube of mascara. So for me, this is a really fun way to try different mascaras out and to use an entire mascara up, which doesn't happen that often. The number three item is a sweater blazer that I got from J. Crew. I have it in a size large. I got it in this camel color. It does come in a bunch of different colors as well. It is super stretchy, super soft, super comfy. It is like wearing a sweater, like nice for layering. It's just so cozy. Throw a scarf on it. You're ready to go. And I actually believe I got it at J. Crew Factory and they are always having sales. So if you are interested in this, it is definitely a great item. If you're not somebody who wants that Veronica Beard more structured blazer, if you want something that's more like cozy, you can ball this up, throw it in a bag, and when you need it, pull it out, and or we're all still doing these Zoom calls and all these things. If you just wanna look put together, you can throw this on over a t-shirt even, and it makes you look like you put a lot more effort into it. The number two item, guys, I love these. I can't say enough good things about these. These are the Vince Camuto, I forget the full name of it, it'll be listed over here, Booty. These are so, so, so good, guys. They are so comfortable. I love this color. It comes in four or five different colors. It also has like a snake skin or something like that. There's also a version from DSW that I own in the black faux suede, but this is a pointed toe. It goes down on the side, but is not cut out all the way down. It zips up in the back. It has a wide block heel to it. They are very, very comfortable, very easy to wear. I do wear them with no show socks. I'll link my favorite ones down below, but this is just such an amazing booty. It is such a great piece. It will be in style for quite some time. It is just, they're super comfortable and they just look amazing. I had originally purchased them during the anniversary sale and sent them back because I was like, oh, they're too similar to something else I have. And then I regretted it. And then I purchased them at full price and then they went on sale again. <laughs> They have been on sale quite a lot through the last two months. So if you are interested, you can definitely go pick those up. Now let's talk about the number one item. The number one item is something I have on right now. You can see this over here. This is called the BB Dakota Revolution Bolsey Drape Jacket, which it's basically a sweater coat, okay? It has gorgeous detailing to it up on the shoulders here. It has a little button with a flap. Same thing around the wrist. It has the pretty button details to it. It did come in black, green, and like a cream color. I did find them both on Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom is almost out of stock. I think they only have the cream left in stock and Nordstrom Rack was limited in stock, but it was down to like $14 at Nordstrom Rack, guys. That's crazy. So I will put both of those links down below. And if neither of those work for you, I also found one that I considered that was very similar in structure and it was from Banana Republic. So I will link that as well. So those are all of the top sellers for the month of November, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing these. These are so fun for me to see what you guys are interested in and what you are purchasing. It helps me to know you guys better and to know what your likes are. And I love seeing when it's an item that I really love that you guys are purchasing as well. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you click that subscribe button and followed along here. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. Have a great day.